Why am I wearing a lectern? Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome to LD Shadow Lady's Makeover Show. Today we'll be transforming this basic Minecraft witch hut. First a vanilla transformation and then a full modded makeover. So today I'm going to give this witch the home makeover of her dreams. Just look how basic this hut is. For a start, you can't even access the hut without jumping up. And inside it's really basic, there's only a crafting table, an empty cauldron and an empty flower pot. That's just sad. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head to Pinterest for some build inspiration. And there are lots of cool pictures on here that are already giving me so many ideas to improve this ugly witch hut. So let's get building. So the first thing I did was increase the size of the hut because the vanilla witch hut is just way too small. And I started to work on the roof. I don't know what kind of heathen put a flat roof on this witch hut, but every witch hut I have ever seen has a very pointed roof. It took me an annoyingly long time to get this right, and in the end it still looked wonky, but then I thought, actually that's kind of perfect for the witchy vibes we're going for. Then I added a few more features to the build, so we've got this nice balcony here so that our witch can look out onto the swamp, and I added a dormer window to the roof. Then I added this huge chimney to the back of the build so that we could put a fireplace inside. So here we are with the shell of the build. All I need to do now is finish decorating. So first of all we need a staircase to get up into the hut and I thought an old rickety and broken staircase would be perfect for this. So honestly it's kind of a challenge to even get into the witch hut. But witches don't really like intruders, so isn't that kind of the point? Now I really wanted to put in a circle window, because all the pictures I saw had circle windows, but this is Minecraft, so that is the best I can do. Now I think the exterior of this house is perfect, we just need to now decorate the inside. Now before, remember she only had an empty cauldron, a crafting table, and an empty flower pot. And I want to make sure that she has everything from before, and more. So I'm going to make sure that I give her back her precious items. Now let's get this fireplace working in here. We just have to be careful that it doesn't burn down this entire wooden hut, because that would not be good. Let's see if- oh, 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 oh! Let's try that again. Okay, so this fire looks safe, so let's put a mantelpiece up there, and we have a very grand fire now. So what else does a witch need in her cabin? Well, she's gonna need a bed. I'm not really sure why there isn't one anyway, but now she has a lovely purple bed. Let's also put a nice bookshelf in here for our witch to read. Oh jeez. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. And I think a witch would keep skulls around her cabin. And instead of flowers in these pots, I'm gonna put mushrooms, cause she's just quirky like that. Now one final thing I think she would have in here is a chest. And in this chest, I think there should be lots of potions for looting, some glowstone, and some fermented spider's eyes. So let me know in the comments what you think of my new and improved vanilla witch hut. And now I will build a modded witch hut. Oh my goodness, stop, stop, stop. Get out of the fire. Why would you do that? You crazy woman. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's crazy. I'm scared, I'm getting out of here. So I'm starting from the same basic hut as before, but I'm gonna try and do something a little bit different. So once again, I am increasing the size of the witch hut and I'm keeping a very similar rickety witch hut vibe. However, this time I am using some brown shingles for the roof. And instead of a fireplace on the back, this time we're going to have a tower. So here is my completed shell of the build. It's looking very brown at the moment. <laughs> I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is replace some of these stone bricks with cracked and mossy stone bricks. There we go. And um, we should probably sort out the windows next. Now instead of using boring vanilla windows, I have many more options. And all of the witch huts I saw had these crisscross windows. So let's add a bunch of these. Oh, they look so cool. So I'm just gonna place them kind of randomly around. I think these windows already make such a difference to the way that this place looks. Let's see what it looks like at nighttime. <gasps> oh, very spooky. Perfect, but there is some more detail that I want to add to the outside. So let's add a couple of lanterns hanging from the eaves of the roof. Next, I want to add a skull of an animal right here, but I tried adding this and it's kind of wonky. So what I'm gonna do is build something really similar, except out of the chisel and bits mod. So let's just pop that there for reference and I will start building. Okay, this is horrifying, but let's just give it some antlers. Oh, I can't believe I built this. That is horrible. Ugh. Next, let's add some vines and flowers so that this place looks kind of overgrown by nature. So I'm gonna just add a variety of vines and then see what it looks like when they're grown. We are in a swamp after all. 
I hope this isn't excessive. Let's speed up time and find out. Oh. Oh dear, that's a lot of vines. Oh no, they're spreading like crazy. Oh my gosh, it went crazy on this side too. Well, I guess witches have just got better things to do than landscaping. I think she would have a scarecrow out here to scare people away. And of course, some pumpkins of all shapes and sizes. I think she would also have some wind chimes out here. And let's give her a little dirt path up to her door. Now I think witches need to do a lot of growing of herbs and various plants for their potions so let's get rid of the vines over here and instead give her a little window box. So I'm gonna build it kind of vanilla-y but then to add in the flowers I'm gonna do that with chisel and bits. So I'm just crafting some different types of flowers and then I'm placing them down in the flower beds and I'm hoping it looks good. I think that looks pretty cool and now we can start putting these in front of every window. Even the floating windows. Magnificent. That's perfect. Now over here I also want to build a small farm but not any kind of farm. No this is a witch farm. So in biomes of plenty there are some different kind of plants and I think witches would definitely try and grow death blooms, ender lotus, maybe some of these eye bulbs because they'd need them for their potions. And I'm gonna start planting rows of the various creepy crops. Oh my gosh, those are horrible, but perfect for this situation. So let's plant a row of golden rods as well. Some of these raffleisias, some death blooms. And finally, some end lotus, which have to be planted on these special end stone blocks. Ta-da! The most disgusting farm in the world. Now let's fence it in so that she can protect her crops. Now if I was a witch, I would probably have a lot more fairy lights than this. Now there are all kinds of spooky ones available, but honestly they might be a little bit too tacky. But who cares, because they're adorable. So I'm going to get the little black witch hats, the white skulls, some black spiders, white ghosts and some orange pumpkins. These are either going to be adorable or hideous. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're adorable. I love them. So that is the outside of my modded witch hut complete. Now we just need to do the inside. Currently it looks like this, a little bit plain. All we've got is our crafting table, empty cauldron and empty flower pot. Once again I'm going to make sure that she still has all these items and more by the time I'm finished. So first of all she definitely needs a furnace because where else is she going to cook all of the children? Then second most importantly we need a staircase to get up to this upper floor. And there we go, one stone staircase up to the second floor. Now back to cooking those children. I think here we actually do need a fireplace. This time instead of an actual fire I can just use a mod to make this smoke and it looks so cool. So now we have an extra smoky fire that actually puffs smoke out the top here. Okay now we already have this cauldron but let's add one of these brewing cauldrons by the fire and maybe a nice shelf up here to put some potions on. And because of the placeable items mod, I can actually place real potions. And we can also get some of these decorative potions from other mods. Now instead of these ugly torches to light this place up, I think we should find a unique way. Yes, candles galore. So let's put a few down here. Since we actually only technically need a few candles to light this place up, I also made some of these fake candles. Now let's put a flower in the flower pot. Or actually, let's put a dead bush in there. Spooky. We also have these potion shelves which I think would be perfect for this build. They're actually so adorable. I can't stand it. And I'm also going to put in a lectern over here. And then we can hang some of these potion bottles from the ceiling. What else can we have that hangs from the ceiling? Hanging plants, hanging pheasants, a hanging ghost. I guess we could put some hanging pheasants. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's all kinds of cute animals. There are some hanging rabbits. No. It's so sad, but it's so perfect for this witch hut. Dang it. Let's also get some hanging fish, I guess. And um, what's this? A hanging ghost. I mean, as a witch, would you really have a huge hanging ghost in your house? Who am I kidding? Yes, I would. This place looks amazing. <gasps> Why am I wearing a lectern? Oh my gosh. As I was saying, this place looks amazing. This floor looks far too perfect. Let's put some little holes and divots in the floor. There. And maybe a few cobwebs as well. Just in the corners where she's forgotten to do the dusting. Oh my gosh, this baking table is perfect for the middle of this room. I think the downstairs is complete. Now all we have to do is decorate the upstairs. So up here I want to go for kind of a different vibe, but still lots of candles because she is a witch after all. I'm not really sure what kind of a bed a witch would have. Ooh, 
probably this black four poster bed. That is very witch like. And I think we need some more shelves in here. And on those shelves, we will have some terrariums. So we'll get the Ender one, the Death Bloom one, maybe a dead terrarium, wasteland, anything that sounds deadly, to be honest. Oh, and let's put one of these weird candle things down. Every good witch has a spinning wheel in her room and. Let's get this writing desk over here. I could put an enchanted book on there. There. Whoa, that is a thick book. Okay, there's one final thing I need to add up here, and that is an armor stand with a witch hat. Ta-da! So the last thing to do is to spawn the witch in here and see how she likes it. I'll spawn her here, and if she walks into the house, she likes it. If she walks out, she hates it. <laughs> Aww. Oh my gosh, please walk inside the house. She's not moving. What does that mean? Well, do you like it, lady? She's toying with me. Go on, get in the house. You know you want to. No! Okay, well, the witch might not have liked her home makeover, but let me know by voting in the poll whether you liked it. And let me know in the comments what else you would like to see me give a makeover to. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.